Your father does. Yeah. End of the rope. Okay. I suppose every child at some point or other believes that their father is the strongest person in the world. Well, I had good evidence. I watched him throughout his life lift up those 55-gallon steel drums full of trash and dump them in a truck. You know, my father believed you could do anything with a truck and a rope that was big enough or a log chain. He could tow and move all kinds of stuff. He had another truck that he used to haul furniture and pianos and that kind of stuff. And I just came to believe that I could trust him to do whatever needs to be done when it came to manual strength. I remember one time when I was a little kid, we had trees up beside the house and the branches were kind of bumping up against the roof and my father decided it was time to trim those trees. So his plan was he and I climbed up to the top of the house, two-story house, he sat on the peak of the roof, tied a rope around his waist and a rope around my waist and let me down to the edge of the roof. And I reached out over thin air there to cut those branches off and then he brought me back up with the rope. Well, I went and told my kids at school how proud I was of what me and my dad could do. Now, that was about the time they just invented these things called soap on a rope. You know, had a little rope, you could wear it or hang it there in the shower. Well, the kids heard that story, it says, this isn't a case of a rope on a dope. This is a, a, do, a, a soap on a rope. This is a dope on a rope. Well, I thought I was proud of all this, and they were making fun of me. Now, one time my father and I went to move a piano. It was down in the basement of a house, and they wanted it up to the top. My dad laid some boards down that stairway, and he got up to the top, tied a rope around the piano, and he stood there, braced his feet up against the frame of the wall, and pulled that piano all the way up those steps. My job as a kid was down below pushing. Well, I told that story the same kind of thing. You're just a dope on the end of a rope. Well, you know, years later, I was in Colorado at a youth camp. They taught us how to rappel off down the sides of mountains on a rope. And we started, you know, 15, 20, 50. We were up to about 300 feet. And I remember stepping off the edge of that cliff one time to get on that rope. And I was thinking about the folks up at the top. Is that rope secure? Are they holding it on? And what came back to my mind was my memory of my father. I wasn't a dope on a rope because you can trust someone if you know them who's at the other end of the rope. Oh, very well said. Larry.